give it a shot. If I said, ladies and gentlemen, what are the zeros of this polynomial? What are the zeros and what is its multiplicity? Well, first of all, to find the zeros, we know we have to set this equal to zero, right? Now, what I notice is I now have a product of all these factors. So now I have a product equal to zero. And when I have a product equal to zero, to find my zeros, I can apply the zero product property, right? So now I can set each one of these equal to zero. Right? And now solve. Under the square, square root. Under the 4, the um, 2 to the 4th power, 4th root. Under uh, raised to the 3rd power, take the cube root. Therefore, I can say x equals negative 7, x equals negative 5, and x equals 1. Right? Does everybody see how I found the zeros? Pretty easy when you already have them factored out. And I know that was a problem actually on your homework. But now, what's the multiplicity? For this one, let's go back up to its factor. This one, what was the multiplicity? Two. Two. This one, what is the multiplicity? Four. Four. And that problem, what's the multiplicity? Three. And what do we know about when we have a multiplicity that's odd? We know that the graph is going to. What happens when it's odd? It crosses, right? That's exactly right. And when we have an even multiplicity of the graph, touches. So there you go. Uh, this is a little bit more basic of a problem for you guys to be able to determine multiplicity. Does this kind of maybe help a little bit for those of you that are like? Just make sure you've written it as its factors.